keep it going for Matt Bridgestone doing whatever the fuck he's doing. <laughs> Look at this group of fucking mutants up here. <laughs> if this was the X-Men, Professor X would have got up and just been like, fuck it, I'll do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Bridgestone. Matt, as an official representative of the Jewish nation, I wanted to tell you that you've been traded for Gerald Benford and a Hispanic guy to be named later. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take, trust me, we'll take it. <laughs> You know, we don't really, Jews don't really have white trash, but I want to thank Matt for giving us that option. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I should just end now, because it's not getting any better. <laughs> My buddy Chris Covert's here. Chris and I do a, a podcast called Podcasturbation. That was just a plug. That wasn't actually anything nice. Um, Chris is a, uh, Chris is a, a musical comedian. He, uh, he, he plays the piano. Which means he just plays music and calls himself a comedian. <laughs> Call, calling calling Chris a, a, me, a comedian is like is like calling, is all like calling Chips a magician. <laughs> he's got a uh, he's still got a ponytail. You can't really see it. He's got a ponytail back there. I once asked him if he kept his ponytail because of the biblical story of Samson and Delilah, who uh, who kept his hair to keep him strong. And he looked at me and goes, "Bro, I don't read." <laughs> Bro. Andy, hey, Andy's here. I fucking love Andy. Andy and I have been working together forever. I love Andy is proof positive that even an autistic person can achieve mediocrity. I loved you in Rain Man, Andy. Jeff, Gerald is here. Gerald Benford. Very funny Gerald Benford. He's here so we could qualify for federal aid. <laughs> and, uh, you know, if Buddha was a woman, Gerald and Buddha would make a great couple walking out of Walmart. <laughs> uh, sorry, I was supposed to change that, that the punchline to Kmart because Walmart's trying to improve its image. <laughs> Craig is here. Yeah, Craig. Craig and I have worked together a few times. I always like working on a show with a guy who I'm pretty sure has a hooker in his trunk. <laughs> You gotta know a guy who can hide a body. Uh, Rich Carucci. I don't want to say too much bad about Rich Carucci because he gives me a lot of work. <laughs> but he, uh, this this summer he did have something removed from his neck. He had some kind of fucking growth removed from his neck, so now he only has five rolls on the back of that fat head. <laughs> Uh, I want it, I want, and I know we're not usually doing this, but, uh, fucking Buddha's mom is here, that's crazy. Just sit right there. Woo! So after giving birth to this, do you shit every time you sneeze? <laughs> John Conti's here. John Conti. He's got, that fucking, he's got that fucking electronic cigarette. Because God forbid you don't have something in your mouth. <laughs> but it's good to see you. I'm glad the comedy shop's doing well. Wrong Conti. Yeah, no shit. That's the fucking joke. <laughs> to the man of the hour, Buddha. Uh, First time I worked with Buddha, I was like, ah, oh, Jesus, another fat comic doing fat jokes. And well, that's it. another fat comic doing fat jokes. Buddha, Buddha is a huge horror fan. I don't know if you love that. Know that. Buddha loves horror movies. He's huge into horror. And that's appropriate because horror movies are just a beautiful woman never being able to run fast enough from an ambling mess. <laughs> that's like a fantasy for him. He's also, he's also a big Walking Dead fan. He's wearing a Walking Dead t-shirt, a big Walking Dead fan, which is a show about a disease that causes people to run around and eat everything in sight. That's pretty much his life. He finds it. <laughs> Buddha's also a, a taxi cab driver. He drives around a taxi, which is, uh, it's gotta be tough now with the Uber. Probably taking some of your work, but don't worry. Buddha, ever the innovator, has come up with his own app. It's a it's a, it's a car service fitness app called Slobber. You uh, 
you, you, you call it up and he shows up and you look and you go, fuck it, I'll walk. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.